I'm going to show you how to turn your ugly looking Firefox into something a little more appealing, like Max Safari, because Apple does everything right in design and can never do anything wrong. Anywho, to start off, you need to go to the first link in the description, which is Firefox CSS Store. It, it's in the description, and it's the first one. And once you open it up, you will see this website here. You can choose any theme that you want, and this installation process will work exactly the same. Just find something you want. There is a limited amount, but there are quite a bit of different themes you can choose from. I'm specifically, once again, going to just go for the Safari style. So click on the one you want, and you'll be directed to a GitHub page. Click on the green Download Code button, and click Download Zip. Once you download it, you need to open with Windows Explorer or whatever. Just press OK. And once you get this folder, you just want to drag it to your downloads. Then once you drag it to your downloads, ensure that it's there. And once it's there, you can move on to the next step. So now the next step gets a little involved. You need to go to about colon config. It'll be in the description as always. And you will get this window popping up saying proceed with caution. Just click accept the risk and continue. And now you need to search preference names and you need to toggle them to enable. And the preference names will once again be in the description. And you, all you need to do is just go line by line, paste it in and click this little switch button here to turn it to true. You need to do that with every single one. In some cases, you might have two results show up. Just do the one that exactly matches what you pasted in. And once you've done the last one, all you need to do is go to About colon Profiles. So I'm going to do that in a new tab, and you will see this window pop up. Now you need to look for the profile that ends in dash release. And once you find that profile, it might be a huge page, might be a small page. You just need to look underneath it, and you'll see Root Directory. And you need to go to the right and click open folder. Once it opens this folder, you are almost there. All you need to do is open up your downloads folder once again, and open up that folder that we extracted to the downloads folder. Once you open it up, all you need to do is copy all these files and drag it into your Firefox folder. And once you're done, all you need to do is restart Firefox. So to do that, all you need to do is go to the top right, click on the little drop down menu and click exit. Then close all the tabs, then open up Firefox one more time. And you'll notice, hey, it looks a whole lot different. And that's because we've actually themed it. Now, if you want to get rid of the bookmarks bar, just press Control shift b and now it looks even cleaner. And the best part about this is that it dynamically updates to your Windows color settings. So if I change my color scheme to light mode, you'll notice my Safari is now in light mode, which is really nice if you're one of those light mode users. I know a lot of us aren't. Let's say you're done with this theme and you want to revert back to the old theme. All you need to do is once again, you need to go to about colon profiles and go back to that folder that you opened up. And all you need to do is delete the Chrome folder. When you delete the Chrome folder, you can minimize this and you can close Firefox the same way we did before. And once it opens back up, it looks exactly like it normally was. And you can press control shift B to get that bookmarks bar back. And that's how you remove it. But that's not how you completely remove it. If you want to completely remove the theme, the best thing to do is just go back to the description, go back to about colon config, accept the risk and continue, and search for each one of these preference names and just press the reset button and do that for every single one. And you will not have to deal with these themes anymore. Now the residual files in the profiles folder you can clean this up. Mind you, it is a little messy. I would just leave it as is. It's not going to do any harm because you've disabled all the flags after cleaning it up. In any case, that's how you theme your Firefox, and uh, I'm going to go keep on using Chrome. I don't know why. I'm just, I just don't use Firefox, and Chrome never wants us to make cool themes for it.